this is not an industry that it that we're taught for a lot of the families that at least I know. My parents both migrated here. My dad actually migrated before my mom um, with my grandmother and my mom got married to him. He had a full-time job, he had benefits. For him it was day to day. Because of that we didn't prepare either. So the importance of saving a dollar was made known to me early on um, and that was through physical labor. My grandfather being a plasterer the great part about that was my grandfather was willing to pay me, 12-year-old kid, and then later on in life I understood. Saving to me now means well, I'm going to make my money work for me. My dad came over first and he would work and work in the, in the fields and then go back home. Our Mexican culture is a big part of my upbringing um, and I feel really connected to it. So currently my financial um, priorities are funding my college, my master's, um, but also helping my niece out. Um, also home ownership and a, a nice retirement, you know, that'd be nice. So financial priorities for me is, I mean, you know, I'd love to be able to retire, decide if I want to continue to work or spend time at home or travel. Um, saving is, is, is my biggest goal right now. My parents told us from a young age, they didn't finish um, high school, so they taught, uh, taught us from a young age to pursue college. They didn't want us to work in a labor, blue-collar job. I was actually the first um, woman in my family to graduate from university. My mother always told me, you know, mija, I didn't go to school, but I know when you go to school and you go through college, you get a better job, you get a better pay. I was the only one who went to actually finish college. I, I, I can't say, I would never tell anyone it's necessary because everyone functions differently. But for me, it was something really important. I had aunts, I had an uncle who did the community college thing and very proud that they did. Uh, my godmother actually attended university and then graduated. And it was really her and saying to me, the value here is that you have a degree. So a very typical scenario can be, I can come into a financial advisor's office with my parents and we're going to all make a decision on my future with my in-laws. Um, if you're a financial advisor and you're looking to bring on some clients within the Hispanic community, there's a few things that you need to know. Um, and when you have that first visit with, with that client, you're going to visit with them, husband, wife, all of their kids or at least some of them, maybe grandparents, because they're all going to have a say and what happens with their parents, with their kids, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm almost sure that there won't be a decision made the first time or maybe the second time because we need to go um, pray about it because faith is very important. For us, it's God, family, and everything else is, is after that, right? So we're not saying no. We just need to make sure that our, um, our faith is um, you know, just telling us to go in the right direction. If you're a financial advisor and you want to tap into that market, you really need to understand the dynamics of that type of situation, that family structure. You have to be transparent and honest and you will earn a client for life.